Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with a, another video, this time back with a short set, which was requested by many of you. I never really do short nails well, at all, really. And um, it was definitely long overdue for a short set. So without further ado, y'all, let's get into it. The acrylic powder that I'm going to be using for today's set is Dragon Pink from Dynamic Nail Supply. This is my favorite acrylic powder from them. It's like a pretty, like, transparent pink. I love it. Um, so this set was requested by Aaliyah to be a junk set. And I was thinking the same exact thing when I was thinking about doing a short set. See, great minds think alike. So today's set will be a junk set as well. For those of you who might not know what a junk set is, or some of you all may call it something different, I'm not sure, but basically a junk set is like a set with a bunch of different charms like it's like get every charm and just put it on there like it, all different kind it doesn't matter like what kind it is um it doesn't have to match or anything like that because it's a junk set so as you can see i do have some random charms already on like a little um tray over there in the background and i'm gonna be adding more so there's just some charms that i was interested in pulling out to use on this set and so i wanted to mention that for short nails they don't require much product at all because they are shorter they don't need like it don't require the nail to be really like built up with an apex and everything because they don't have any length to them so they don't need that much strength um so it requires less products you don't want to put so much product on short nails because they can look bulky but however because like as you guys can see initially i went in with two just two beads of acrylic um and then after because it's like i said because this acrylic is a little bit transparent i didn't like how you can like kind of see through my through two my nails so i did end up adding one um more thin layer at the end making it three layers but they still weren't like bulky or anything like that but i do like a thickness to the nail like you do want some type of thickness with short nails but you know not too thick if that makes sense sometimes too thick is where some people go wrong um and i won't say go wrong like if that's your preference to have like super thick short nails then that's on you but um i know a lot of people like do super thick nails and that is where it takes away from your shape as well because it's it could be hard to shape like get a good square shape on thick nails or thick short nails rather um so yeah and i'm no short nail expert or i'm not even a nail expert at all but i'm just saying like um from my understanding you like short nails do not at all require much of a thickness and um you can get a nice square shape a lot better with like you know not so thick nails it can be it i would think it would be a little bit tougher to get a nice square shape on thick short nails but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching this application but before i do that because i almost forgot i am using nail houses size 16 Kalinsky brush as always as well as their monomer and anyone interested in shopping nail house can find the link to their site in the description below as well as use my code portia for savings on your order and um i do want to mention as well that this video is a lot shorter than you know my regular videos because these nails are short and it took me literally no time to do these nails um but regardless enjoy
I just love a thumb application. I just love it. But this is how we're looking so far. And like I told you guys, I did go in with a third thin layer for just opaqueness, you know, because this is a bit transparent and most of it ended up, well, not most of it, but some of it ends up coming off anyway while filing. So I didn't want, you know, like it to be too like see-through or transparent. So yeah. All right, y'all, so this is how we are looking. Super cute, I love this pink color so much. It's my favorite, like I said, color from their line. But anyway, moving into shaping and filing. Y'all, these nails were super hard for me to shape. Well, not so hard, but like they're super short. So it's like I'm shaping nothing. Like I, and this file so big, yeah, it just was kind of hard to get used to shaping short nails. Um, But I got it together at the end. And then I did after I was done, I didn't really like like, they wasn't giving me that crisp square shape. So, I did go in and file once more, which you guys will kind of see briefly. But, yes. Also, if you guys want a full in-depth step-by-step shaping tutorial, check out my tutorial on my channel. It is also linked in the description below for anyone interested.
okay y'all this is how the shape is looking it's looking pretty cute you know what i'm saying like it's y'all it's pretty hard at least for me to shape short nails it's not that hard but it's like it's more work to shape short nails than like regular length nails um this is like my second time doing short nails but anyway this is how we're looking the shape is it's cool like i like it <laughs> it's kind of giving a little bit you know what i'm saying and next i'm gonna go in and buff the nails clean them and then i'm gonna move into applying the charms and all of that Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go in with these charms, and I'm not going to be doing it in any particular way. I'm just going to be applying them randomly, like, you know, where they fit. And um, I am going to pull out some pink and white pearl charms, or not charms, but pearls, and add those as well. You know, just give it a little look. I really did like the way these came out. I actually loved the way they came out. I was obsessed with them, and I did not want to take them off. I kept them on for, like, three days. Um, I normally don't do that with my nails. I did keep them on for like three days because I thought they were really cute. And then I was also editing videos that I already like, you know, filmed in between the time. And as well as I did a, a set on my right hand. Um, so I kept these on and you guys will see that actually that's the next video with me doing my um, dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. I struggled, but you guys will see that um, in the next video because I wanted to see it. <laughs> so that's coming up but yeah i did keep these on and these are super cute or they were super cute and i love them as well as they were functional too i just wear them around the house i don't go anywhere y'all um i like to stay you know in the comfort of my own home i don't like being around people that's something about me i just don't like being around people i don't know it's something i've always um been i've always been that way since i was a kid like i just don't enjoy being around people i don't know i just like my own company um anyway but yeah, I did wear them and they were functional. I love the way these were like functional as well. And I just love them. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy me applying all of these charms and pop back in in a bit.
sorry y'all i'm not sure if i mentioned but per usual i am using zule bling adhesive to apply all of these charms Because I'm curious to know, and I'm always kind of curious to know, and especially lately, I've just been curious to know if, like, any of you all would actually enjoy seeing me do, like, more short nails. Like, do I have any short nail lovers? And, um, you know, in the comment section below, let me know if you all want me to do more short nails. Like, I know a lot of y'all don't like short nails, but I know there are some people who do like short nails. Um, so, like I said, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me do more short nails. I can definitely make those videos for y'all. So right now I'm just going ahead and I'm applying the last few little charms to the thumbnail. And after that, I'm going to spray some Mia Secret Activator Spray to go ahead and dry up that glue. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my top coat and we're all done. These were super quick and easy to do. And I was absolutely obsessed with them.
so this was the part that was just so not fun with um doing these junk nails and the next time i will well i guess not the next time because today i did a set that was kind of like if they weren't junk nails but they are you guys will see that like way after this one because i have some videos already pre-recorded but not way after but anyway anyway um the next time i will learn to go ahead and put the top coat first then apply all the charms probably because going around all of these charms and stuff with top coat is just not fun at all um yeah so that's a little tip but right now as you guys can see i'm just going in with a small liner brush and some top coat on the palette and going in between those charms with it and because these are short it didn't take me that long um but two because they are short like that is why i have to go in with a small little brush and go around all of those charms but anyway so this is how we are looking y'all and i'm super obsessed with these right here i love i do like short nails y'all don't get me wrong i just don't like them more than my long nails if that makes sense but short nails are super cute and they're like um they could be fun as well like you can do different designs with short nails as well like you can do with long nails um but like i said if you guys want to see me do more short nails let me know that as well in the comment section below but these are super cute like so fun and cute and i'm going to insert my final results now i don't have much more words to say other than that these are super cute i love it like they're actually adorable <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as i do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications to be notified each and every single time i post a new video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now